In this video, I will show you how to use your PlayStation controller to play Forza Horizon 5 on your PC. To do that, we will need to install a third-party service called DS4, which helps your PC recognize your PlayStation controller. First off, we will need to completely close Forza and move over to our browser. Now that we have gotten over to our browser, select one of the search boxes and write DS4, then press the Enter button. Then open up the link at the top. And once you get here, navigate to the top right and press the download button. Then press the download button right here once again, and the download will begin automatically. After the download is finished, you can close your browser. After you close the browser, navigate to the bottom and open up your file explorer application. Then go over to downloads, and when you get to downloads, locate the file that we just downloaded, drag it out to your desktop, and you can close file explorer right now. Then you can double left click and open up the folder. Then press the Extract All button at the top, and once you get right here, make sure to select the correct location where you want your folder to be extracted at, and press the Extract button. After that happens, we can close both of these, and take the folder that we just extracted, open it up, then go into DS4 Windows, and open up this application right here. When you get inside of here, choose where you want your profiles and settings to be saved. You can choose program folder or app data. I'll choose program folder. And then this will pop up. Here you can select which controller you're using. If you're using a PlayStation 4 controller, select this option. PS5, select this option. Or PlayStation 3, select this option. Then after you select that option, just press the close button. Then this will open up automatically. First off, you will need to press the step 1 right here, select that, and the installation of Vigem will automatically begin. For then press next, then select where you want it to be installed at, make sure to read the license terms and conditions, and if you agree with them, check this box and press next. Then press install. After you are done, you press finish. For this video, we can skip these step 4 and step 5 because they are not relevant to our tutorial, and we press finish. Now we can connect our controller to our PC, navigate to the bottom left and press the search button, open up this, and in here write Bluetooth, then open up the application at the top. When you open up the application at the top, press the plus button right here, make sure your controller is in pairing mode. To put it in pairing mode, press and hold the PlayStation and share button at the same time. Then press the everything else button right here, and when you get in here, you will see your controller pop up automatically, just press it and it will connect. After it's connected, you can go over to the DS4 application and press the start button in the bottom. Now let's jump over to the wired method. The wired method, you will need to take your PlayStation controller charger, then just take the USB part of the cable and plug it into your PC, and after that, take the other part of the cable and plug it into your controller. Then go over to the DS4 application and press the start button and your controller should be automatically recognized. Here it is. And after you have done that, now we can run Forza Horizon. And now we are inside of Forza. If you want to edit the controls, you can press the escape button, then go into settings, and then go into controls, and press change input mapping, and scroll down and find the exact command that you are looking for. Make sure to note that the buttons will be named after Xbox buttons, so for example, the B button is circle on the PlayStation controller. If your controller starts to glitch inside of Forza and you have some issues, you can go over to the DS4 Windows application, then go over to the Settings button right here and press the Hide the DS4 controller, and now you can go back to Forza and try once again. That should fix your issue if you have it. And here is my PlayStation controller. As you can see, I can use it to play Forza. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.